So today's video is going to be a stormtrooper, and I'm going to add watercolor at the end of it. Um, if you know me, you know that I love Star Wars, and I have a whole section in my sketchbook that is exclusively Star Wars characters, and uh, they're always fun to draw because who doesn't love Star Wars? Uh, and if you don't, then we probably can't be friends, but that's okay. Moving on. I have my reference photo. I have my watercolor paper. I have my Prismacolor pencil. So I'm going to start with my under sketch. And looking at the Stormtrooper helmet, there's a couple things that stand out. We can start with just a circle, right, as the head, and then sort of start to add the details. The only thing that's trickier about this is that we've got to make this uh, symmetrical, right? So that's one thing that we want to keep in mind. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And I want this towards the top of the page, and I don't want it um, to take up the whole page. So in other words, I want to leave a lot of room for the paint. So that's sort of how the plan goes in, in my mind anyway. So that's what I'm sort of aiming for. So I'm going to start with this circle, right, just as my base. I'm going to put this band going across as a marker point, right? And we have sort of these areas out here. And again, I'm still working pretty loosely and quickly, right, to just sort of get the proportions down. And I can go in and clean it up and add the details later. And as I'm working, I constantly want to sort of check, like, okay, I'm drawing this section. It needs to be this far from this section and this far from this section and sort of adjust that as I need to. So I know this looks really rough so far, but that's okay. This is just a general shape. So now I can sort of go in and clean that up a little bit. So from my initial sort of pass, I can see that the helmet is not quite as rounded as I first had it. So I'm sort of bringing that down a little bit. Here's where I initially drew it. Here's where I want it to be. Right, so it's sort of little things like that that I'm sort of paying attention to and um, sort of correcting and adding as I go.
So you can see already just from my, oops, sorry, what I started with and where I'm at now, it's already sort of um, starting to come together um, a little bit better. But I've made it easier on myself to sort of add these details and add them in the right place because I put that initial sketch down first. Okay, so you get the general idea. So I'm going to keep working on this and adding my details. And then in the next video, we will go over um, starting to add some pencil lines and shading to this.